Hello, welcome to Thursday night and painting live with Brenda from Brenda's Brush Strokes and Bisque. Tonight is week three of our Frank and Halloween and we're going to work on our Mr. and Mrs. Frankie. Hope everyone had a great week. And these guys are waiting to get painted because we're into October already. And we've been dry brushing them. So, wherever we left off last week. And I think we were going to do faces. So, I have, this is a Mrs. Frankie that I, when I ordered molds, um, Clay Magic sent this sample along. So you can see they did a um, little bit different than what we did it. Um, they actually put black glitter on, which is really cute. We did a purple collar with glitter. Um, they put glitter on the kitty. And they put the glitter on the hair. We'll do that. Um, so we'll just lay her here tonight just for another example. Because Cordy says she forgot to bring the other ones. They're actually packed up probably for our craft show on Sunday. I'm not sure. we kind of been a hectic rush as you go again here tonight. So we will start with our little faces, I guess. And we'll start with eyes. And we're going to use our Royal Majestic 459550 liner. And we're going to start with some black first. And it's just our black acrylic stain. And I want to get a nice point on my liner. And I'm dragging my brush through my paint, making about a quarter turn and dragging it towards me so I can get a nice point on it. And as I'm doing that, that's loading the paint up into the brush so I can paint further. So we'll put one aside and we'll start with the other one. And I gotta move this up a little bit so I can anchor my arm. So we're gonna start with outlining the eye and act. We did do a eye video a week ago Saturday and Courtney got that po posted this week. She also has it posted on YouTube on Brenda's Brush Strokes and Bisque. So you guys can go on there. It's just a piggy bank that had nice big eyes, but it's the basic principle of doing some basic eyes. We'll do some more eye videos, but that was one because we've had a lot of requests. Um, and that's pretty much how we're going to do this eye. So if you need help with your eyes later, you could um, refer to that video. So I have my black in my liner and I'm just going to outline my um, eye and you want to be very steady. So I have my hand on the table. I have my Mrs. Frankie in my hand and I'm going to actually rest my painting hand on her head and then I'm not going to talk while I'm painting because that makes me jittery so I'm going to touch down on the bottom of her eye and draw it towards me and get a nice straight line and it doesn't have to be real wide because we're going to put black next or white next And I just brought it up to the top of her eyelid. And now we'll do the same on the other side. And I'm resting my fourth finger on her head. So it's nice and steady. I'm just doing the bottom half of her eye. And I think we'll grab Frankie and do the same thing on him. We can probably do them both together so we're not washing out the brush all the time so much. Again, he's resting in my hand. The hand's resting on the table. We'll start up by his eyelid and draw down around to the other eyelid. And you really want to have a nice, a good liner when you're doing um, eyes. So now I did turn him around so I can pull it towards me. Um, I like to pull the brush towards me instead of away. I'm getting close to that corner so now I'll go up into that corner and then come back down. And there's plenty of different ways to do the eyes. That's just how I do mine. 
And I guess we should probably do our little frog right away here. And you can see that brush has a really nice point on it. So you do want a better liner brush for when you're doing eyes. And we'll probably just fill his in all the way with black. That way it will give you another example of an eye. We'll give some um, white highlights later. It'll just be a real simple eye. I'm gonna zoom in, but you can't move um, Cardi says you guys want a better um, close up, so she's gonna zoom in. We'll have to see how it goes here. What do you mean by not moving around? I think he has to stay where he is. He needs to stay in the. Okay, so we'll try to keep him in the middle of the screen. This way, an inch. An inch? Yep. Okay. So we might have to do a little adjusting so you guys can see. So I'm just getting him some nice little black eyes. You're doing a half circle? On on the frog's eyes I'm doing the whole the whole eye. Just to give you an example of a, a different eye that you can do. It'll just be a real simple eye. On the Frankie and Mrs. Frankie, I did do just the bottom, like the outline of the bottom half of the eye. And if, you, if you're having trouble with the eye, just leave it and maybe um, watch the video that we posted. Because it's the same eye, it's just that it's, it's bigger and you can see it better because the piggy bank's eyes were bigger. But it's the same eye that we're doing um, tonight on, the, on Mr. and Mrs. Frankie. So on the frog, I just did little um, black, little black circles, but we'll highlight them later. So I'm going to brush my eye um, brush out with water, and I'm going to grab a little bit of white acrylic stain, and it doesn't take much, about a drop. I'm going to go to Mrs. Frankie while Mr. Frankie's um, drying. And now um, there's a black line, and I want that black line that's about half the size that it is right now. So when I come with my white, I'm going to start in the green, merge down to the black, and then thin that black line out just a little bit. First I'm going to load my brush up by brushing through it, doing that turn in between your two fingers, and that will give that nice point on it for you. So now I'm going to start up in, I don't need a little more paint the way it looks. Start up in the green and merge down into your black. And I just want that just a little bit thinner. So again, I'm going to start in the green of the eye and merge over to the left, to the black. And I'm just trying to get that black line just a little bit thinner so it's not so um, blunt looking. So it's about half the size that it was. So now we'll do the other one. I'm going to start in the green again and merge into the black. And try to get this one the width that the other one is. So we'll get the hard, hardest part done tonight, right away tonight, and then we can move on to the easier part, the glitter and the fingernails. Oh. Um, hold on. I guess we forgot to do the kitty's eyes. He probably needs eyes to see, too. So there we have Mrs. Dunn. So, yep, we got comments going. Let's see, who do we have tonight? Oh, we got all kinds. We got Carol from Texas. And we have Carol, another Carol, and Margarita. Those two are subscribers. And let's see, who else do we have? Lots of questions. Is Cordy taking care of you guys with the questions? Uh, can we get closer? Yep, 
I hope that was, is that close enough, do you guys think? Oh, she's got excellent, great, okay. So I'm gonna let Mrs. Um, rest there, and now I'm gonna go back into my white, again, drag my brush through, turn it between my thumb and my um, index finger, because that and draw it towards you because that gets a nice point on your brush and it loads it up really well with paint. And now we're going to start with Mr. Frankie. Let's see, I'm make sure I'm in the middle. Yep, that looks good. I'm going to start in the green again and merge over to the black and kind of cut that black line down in half. And you can have that black line however thick or thin that you like it. Um, you mostly want to have both the right and the left eye with the same thickness of black. So, um, Courtney does have these brushes posted on our website, Brenda's Brush Strokes and Bisc. Um, dot com. If you have, if you were lucky enough to get one of the Silver Falcon Onyx liners, that would be a really great liner for doing eyes. That's actually my favorite one, but since um, those are hard to get, where I'm using this because that's what we, ha we have available now. So I just want you guys to see that what we have available is what I'm painting with, and that's what that it works. That's in your beginner brush set, too. And it's also in um, the beginner brush set. It's one of the brushes in that brush set also. Again, I'm just bringing that black and thinning that, or bringing the white to thin out that black line just a little bit because I don't want it real too scary looking. And then I'm brushing out my white because I don't want any hills and valleys. And So that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to wash up my brush again. And now I'm going to grab my um, powder blue, my Doc Holiday powder blue, or you could use medium blue. Let's use the medium blue. I don't know if that powder blue was supposed to be on here. Um, so we'll, you could use powder blue or medium blue, the Dunkin' medium blue, and I'm just going to take a drop of that. Kind of like the medium blue better. So I have the Dunkin' medium blue, and I'm just going to draw my brush through it, turning it as I do that so I can load it up and we'll put him down and switch over to her so now we want to have just a, a little blue line so we have we want to let just a little bit of white and then we want our, our our blue so we will again start in the green area and merge down and just just leave as much white as you want probably a little more white than the black, than the black. You want more white than black, but not a whole lot. I'm just going to kind of start in the corner. Draw it towards me. Turn it and go to the other corner. So you kind of have a pie shape. If you drew a line through the center of the eye and looked each way, you'd have like a, a triangle type pie pie wedge. So now we want this other eye to match that one. So I'll try to get the center, this inside center to start at the same point that the inside center blue over there starts and then end at the same point as that other side as well. And we'll go to the other corner. And that's um, actually down a little further. So we'll try to get that down further. And then you want to look at them to see if they look fairly even. And it looks pretty good. I don't like the middle part, so I'm going to go over that just a little bit, get a little more dip in it. That's much better. And now we'll do the same with him. Draw your brush through your paint, turning it in your thumb and forefinger to give it a nice point on it. 
Hold him on the table and hold your hand on him so you're nice and stable. We'll start in the corner and draw to the other side. So, and his can be a different amount of white and blue if you want than hers. Nothing wrong with that. Or you could have done his in a different color too. Brown, green. Well, I guess you probably wouldn't want green, but. I'm just drawing that over to the other corner to match the other eye. Ask if are you making half circles with each color? Yes, it's basically a half circle. Maybe if I hold it closer you can see it. Do we have the piggy bank that I painted the other day? Is that that's at Courtney's house? Yeah. I don't know if that's any bigger. Maybe this guy's a little bigger to see. You can see it's outlined with the black. Then we have the little bit of white. It goes narrower towards the edge to the outside of the eye and then it's wider at the middle bottom of the eye and then narrow again. So we'll start over because Courtney's showing me you guys couldn't probably see it. So we have the white outline or the black outline then I have the white and it's narrower on the very outside on the right and the left and then it's wider at the very bottom. And then the same with the blue it's narrow narrower at the, each outside edge and then wider in the middle. So I hope that helps. Okay, so we have the blue on him. And it's okay if there's white, white or black showing above that in that eyeball space because we're actually going to cover that up with the black. So we got that on there. Now I need a little bit of black. Oh, we got black already on our palette. I'm just going to wash out my brush. Go drag it through the black again and turn it so I get that nice point on there. And now I want to come across the top of the eyelid, plus I want to come down into my blue. I want less blue in each corner and then more at the base of the eye. So I'll probably do that first. Actually, I think I'm going to outline it first. So it, it, it's really, it kind of just depends how it looks. So I'm going to outline across the top first, and then I'm going to brush that out because I don't want a big clump there. I'll go into the corner where my other black kind of left off and kind of pick it up. And you don't need a whole lot of blue showing but you want it kind of rounded again we'll go on the other eye start in the corner and bring it across the top Go to the other corner and connect it up. And then I'll go to the corner and bring it across the bottom, leaving some of the blue, kind of like a wedge. And then join them up, and hopefully it looks similar to the other eye. So it looks pretty good. It looks like I could go a little bit higher with the black on this eye. That's up a little bit higher on that lid. Um, so we'll take it up a little bit higher on this lid. Just so that they're both the same. And, and it's not much. It's maybe like a sixteenth of an inch is all that I'm adding. But it's enough to make them look more equal. So 
So there, that's looking pretty good. So long as we're on this one and in the black, we'll fill in our um, the black on the kitty's eyes. We'll just make them little black eyes too, like we did with the frog. Can you practice on paper? Um, yes, you could practice on paper. That's a great idea. Um, I have a circle template that I got from the quilting department, and, and I will draw um, round eyes with that or oblong eyes and, and paint inside those when I'm doing other projects, painting on like pot lids. Um, I could make a copy and put it on the cover. Yep. It's just a photocopy. Yeah. Make a bigger one? Yeah, like just a sheet, like a little worksheet. Yeah. If they want. Okay. Um. Cordy says we could make a like a little worksheet and add it to the box um, for this box coming up. They're already stuffed. We'd, we'd have to do it. We'll, um, we could plan on that for our November box. We'll put it in the um, in the little cellophane wrap that the color flyers are in. In the inventory sheet, I'll work on making a. Um, like a step-by-step -step. she can take pictures and we'll post it put it on there and then you'll kind of like have a worksheet to, to refer to for eyes so we can put that in the subscriber box for November because it our um, October ones are already stuffed we just have to put them in the box and seal them Oh, and nothing has eyes in that box either. <laughs> uh, but our next box will. December so, box so um, Can you show them a sneak peek? Cordy wants to show you a sneak peek out of, everything. of December. December's box. Yeah. Cordy's got a sneak peek of December's box. Two of the pieces. So here's one of the bisque pieces. He's an ornament. And he's a retro snowman. I don't want to say too much, but no, that kind of gives know. you the idea of the theme for the December box. December. December. Because we're doing the our Christmas box in November, so you can have it painted in time for Christmas. So this is one of the this That's is one of the shit. this is a really early sneak peek of your December box. And he's a snowman, so that's a that's a really big hint. So that's one of them. And then Courtney has the the big guy. So I guess for tuning in tonight, she says you get a treat. This is the other fella, another fella. This is Jack the Snowman, and he will be in our December box. So another snowman. And there's something else in the box yet, but we don't have that one to show you. But these are because it's brand new. She says so. Um, this is Jack the Snowman, and he's about seven inches tall. Yeah, I think six right. and a half, seven and inches tall. He's got the little cardinals on him. He does come in a really big version. And he all, he comes in a very big version, too, which I believe we have him, box. but he doesn't fit in the box. But this will fit in the box, and you'll have the retro snowman, and then the theme is snowmen. <laughs> so there's probably something else that's the snowman. That's very new. So that's a big sneak peek for our December, December box. Just so. December fit. That'll ship December 5th. So that'll be a little bit of what's going on for December. And I don't know if we, did we show them anything for November at all? No, they can tune in next week. Cordy says you'll have to tune in next week for a sneak peek of the November box. Which we'll do, be doing the official sneak peek around the 15th. Mm -hmm. And then the unboxing video on the 20th. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have to get it painted, but I have a craft show Saturday, Sunday, so. And we're shipping boxes Saturday. Um, so let's see. So we're back to our eyes. So now we have the blue on there. Now we want the, the black. So we're gonna, just going to start in that corner and come up along his eyelid. Happy. Cordy says, everybody's happy. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh my god, cool. A missus. Um, um, I don't think that it's a gender neutral. It's kind of a gender neutral. I would say it's more gender neutral, but if you did like rosy cheeks, you could make it more girly. Yeah. How's that? <laughs> uh, it's a brand new release. 
So um, we just thought that would be fun for December because we'll already be working on our Christmas stuff in November. Um, but winter themed yet, and like um, you could still put like Christmas. Um, you could still make the snowman Christmassy painted if you wanted to. We'll we'll do them more all season painted. So I'm making the blue in the corners a little bit thinner and then a little bit wider in the middle and then thinner on the outside edge again. And the middle's got a little jag in it, so we're going to try to straighten that out and get it nice and smooth. So as you can tell, we've been having a lot of fun making making the um, boxes up and getting ideas for them. So now we're going to go to the other eye here. And we want to get the corner. Can you go plug the kiln? That's okay. Um, so I'm firing the kiln when I started, but I had to vent it, so now Courtney's going to go and close it and plug it for the first time ever. So I had to show her that before we started so she knew what to do. I didn't want her burning herself or dropping the plug and breaking it. The, wouldn't it be good? Or the lid. So I'm just going from corner to corner and just making nice even wedges with the blue and coming up to the eyelid with the black. So that looks pretty, he looks pretty even. If there's something you don't like, you can go back and pick it up. Um, the blue on this eye is down further than on this eye, so I'm going to cover that up in that corner just a little bit. And I need a little more paint the way it looks. So did it go without incident? She thinks she got it plugged. Well, that'll be good. I just want to touch it up a little more. It's not quite straight enough for me. So I'll work on getting a um, like a worksheet that we can put in in the November box, even though there's no eyes in there, it'll give you guys time to practice for your December boxes. So he's not quite right over here yet either. We think November's boxes will be quite fun as well. So. Christmas, she says it's Christmas, and it's a pop. There, it's a popular Christmas item this year. So, actually, Couple two popular Christmas days. items. So, can't wait to show you guys that next week. We probably have to do that unboxing video or the sneak peek video, like on Sunday, if we're doing it, releasing it Wednesday, or is it Wednesday the fifteenth? little ahead, she says. I'm a little ahead. A week ahead, probably. Okay, so there we have our eyes looking pretty good. And you want to just look at them again and make sure they're okay. If you don't like something, you can go back and touch it up. Um, for instance, there's a little, the black goes up into the white a little bit, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of white and see if I can straighten that out without making it worse. Sometimes it's better to just leave it alone. But if you have a brush with a nice point, um, you can usually touch it up, and that's it worked well. It, it's touched up. So now I have, um, I do have white in my brush, and I have a little bit of white on my foil here. And I'm actually going to dip my brush into the water and get like a drop of water and work it in into my white so I can thin it out so it's like ink. You don't want real thick paint for the highlighting part. So I'm just working it out, working that water in there and making it just a little bit thinner. And then I'm drawing my brush through it 
and turning it and getting that point on it. And you don't want it too thin either because then it's going to run. So now I have my um, ready for the little highlights. So for the frog, we're just going to little just do a little. Um, you could actually just do a little dot in each eye. We'll do that just to show you a couple different ways. So he's just got nice little. We'll put two little white dots on the right side of each eye. So that just makes a nice little cute little eye too. That's just a nice little plain eye. And for Frankie, we're going to start in the black and we're going to push heavier and then lift as you uh, make like a back a backward C stroke or a half circle. So it'll be wider at the top and narrower at the bottom and I want to stop before I get to the white, probably still in the blue yet, because once you get to the white, you won't see it. It's not going to be a very big line. I'd like it a little light whiter at the top. And now we'll come in. So this is on the one third of the right side of the eye, and we want to do that on the same side. On the other eye if we did it on the left side of the eye he would look cross-eyed so we have this one on the right side of his eye and we want this one also on the right side of his eye oh and there I globbed it so now I'm gonna have to go back and touch that up but we'll just leave it and if you're really brave you can put two little X's in each corner and you just touch real lightly and it'll be on the left corner of each eye then and then you can also put a little dot on the top of each X just on one side of it and I'm letting that white dry where I gobbed it. So now we'll go to her. And again, I'm just going to draw my brush through that inky white. And we'll start in the black and do the same thing over here. And hers is a little daintier, so that's good. And then we'll get the little X's in the corners. But if you if you want to skip that, there's nothing wrong with that. Just skip it. But I could probably do a step by step um, handout for that. So that's a little bigger dot than I care for, but we're gonna make a match because I don't want to go back and take it out and put it back in. Um, so for this kitty, for the kitty's eyes, we'll do them different than the frog. We'll just do just a little C shape in it. And you kind of want to make a match. And then we'll just put a dot at the very top of those little C's. I'm going to wash out my brush so I can fix my, i got to fix my black over here, or my white that's gobbed, or was it him that I gobbed? Yeah, it was him. So we'll put her down and we'll fix, fix him up. So now this one looks nice, it's wider at the top, narrower at the bottom. This one's wide at the top and wide at the bottom. So I'm going to start at the bottom and pull it towards me and just try to narrow that out a little bit. So there, just narrowed it out enough that it looks neater. Now I can wash out my brush again. And we'll go in the white. 
kind of load it up, turning it as you're dragging it through there. I'm just going to dip the end, and at the very top of those um, backward C's, I'm just going to put a little dot just to give it a little extra highlight. That one I make usually a little bit bigger than the one that's on the X. So there's his eye. Now this one doesn't look quite round, so we're going to do that one over a little bit. So there he is looking pretty good. And now we'll get a little more on the tip of the brush and do the top of her eye, her highlight also. And if you have a small stylus, ball stylus, that works really well for doing this too. So there we got some eyes. And I wasn't going to brush that out because we have to do his little tooth here too. So I'm just going to use the liner and just paint in his tooth. Just give him a nice little white tooth. Okay, and then we're going to look at him to see what else we need to do here. So our little froggy's got eyes, our cat's got eyes. Um, we probably need to do her fingernails and the kitty's um, collar. And I used purple for that, so I'm going to grab the Duncan OS 452 purple. And it's only going to take a drop. And you could do the her nails in whatever whatever color you would like. And I'm just going to use the liner again. And I'm just going to outline her fingernails. And you kind of want to let the the black that's in the crevice around the fingernail because that gives it makes your fingernail have more structure to it. So we have the hardest hardest part is done. The eyes are done. If you're if you're struggling with them, just leave them in watch watch the eye video with the with the piggy bank there's it's pretty it's a lot bigger eyes so you can see what I did and it, it's the same eyes that we did on on these guys it's just a good simple eye I'm just painting your little fingernails all pretty purple here so Cordy says the video is on, the i video is on YouTube, and you can subscribe and like it, and then you'll get others when we post them because we work, we are working on others. Um, otherwise, the feed, our Facebook feed, has a has a link to it also. I seen um, some of another one with the fingernails paint, painted black, so that's another. Um, cute way to do the um, fingernails and I just dipped my paint in the black but we're not going to make them black we're already started with purple here so I gotta go back so we ordered those December molds this week we have February's molds on their, they should be on their way pretty soon because I ordered them, not yet. Um, they should be coming though because it's been like a week and a half. And then January, yep, um, that was from Riverview. In January we know what the theme is but we're still going, we're still, we still have to pick out what exactly ones we're going to do. And then we were thinking about doing a like a release in January for the year of what the theme is for each month. Um, we won't 
release what what the actual items are but we're thinking about doing a just a list of the themes for the year is that something you guys would like to see or you'd rather be more surprised and go month by month you'll have to let us know what you think about that if you ever don't like them so um, if you are a subscriber and say you normally like all the boxes but you come across a month that oh I just don't like that you can message Courtney and she'll um, she can put that month on hold for you so now she's got some cute little fingernails and now we're gonna do the little kitty's tail in or not his tail his collar in the purple also And that'll get some purple glitter on it too. I guess I did purple because Courtney likes purple, so kind of purpled everything out here. Pink would probably be cute too. So there we got our purple collar. Let's see, what else do we need? That looks pretty good. He looks pretty good. So I think now we can do her glitter the glitter. So I would normally spray these guys. Do you have the and we have the dew drops right here. But I'll need some glue. Um, probably the E6000 glue. And probably a can of spray sealer. I should probably seal it for them. So these guys are actually ready to be sealed. Probably could give her a little bit of, um, well, maybe we'll put a little bit of glitter or purple glitter on her eyes, even. Can you grab a can of the matte sealer? This should be on the back wall. Courtney's going to get sealer. So they're at the point where you could seal them. Um, if you want a completely flat, flat finish, you'll want to use, um, if you're using Duncan, the new Duncan formulated ones, it's the matte. If you wanted a little bit of shine to it, you could use the Duncan satin. And if you wanted them really glossy, you could use the Duncan glossy. But I tend to use the um, matte, which is the former porcelain, because it just looks more natural with, for people. Oh, and I guess we should put a little bit of blush on her cheeks. So I'm going to grab the cranberry for that. And it's just going to take a drop. And I'm going to grab a little, a little bitty, one of my small um, dry brushes. I have the Royal and Langnickel size zero. You can get those on the website. And Courtney has those all on the website. Also, you can get them as kits or as single brushes. So I just have the zero and I went into the cranberry, the Doc Holiday cranberry, and I'm brushing it out on my paper towel and I'm just going to give her a little bit of rosy cheeks, not too much. They want them in their box, so they need to mess with us. Um, Cordy says if you'd like to have the brushes added, we can, um, you can pay for them and you can, well actually you, you would you have to message her. And she, message Courtney and she can add it to your invoice and then we could add it to the subscription box and then it would um, ship, we would cover the shipping on it. So, if you look at um, Brenda's brushstrokesandbisque.com, she has the brushes on there and the Duncan paint, the sealers on there, there's some bisque on there, I haven't had much time to get more bisque on there, but it'll get there. So I'm just getting her... Cheeks just a little rosy, not too much. So we have that done. So now I have my Duncan matte sealer. I usually want to give that a nice little shape. And then I tend to stick a brush up up inside and move everything so it don't get sealer all over it. And you just want to spray back and forth and get a nice light and get the bottom as well and turn it and a couple thin coats are better than a heavy coat that runs. So 
So we got her sealed in, and that dries really quick. So you can see there's just a little bit of a difference, not a whole lot. So we'll sit her down. And we'll seal him right away. And I, I actually like to do this outside. <coughs> so he's sealed too. We'll just give him a second here. <coughs> Excuse me. So we'll take him off and let him dry for a second. And that's all it takes. And now we will take her. And we had um, the gloss sealer was an extra in this box, right? Mm -hmm. So this was an extra that we threw in for you guys. It's the gloss sealer. Um, this is good for different little projects that you can do. You can also buy it on the map. Excuse me? And you can also buy it on the map. Um, you, we, we use the gloss, but you can also get it in um mat. So I'm just going to shake that up. So you could use this on animal hooves, um, eyes, to put glitter on. You could seal a whole piece with it also if you wanted to brush it. But we're going to use it to put our glitter on. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my um, foil. And it is white. It will dry clear. So I'm going to... And I need my glitter. So you also in your package, you had glitter. This is another extra we threw in. It's kind of fun finding all the little extras to throw into the boxes. So we have purple, green for the frog, and the silver for her hair. Can you grab me a paper plate from the cover? Please? And I usually um, use a paper plate too, that works pretty good. So I'm going to just use my liner brush again, and I'm going to go into my sealer. And I'm just going to paint her little fingernails with, with some sealer. Sure. And I'm going to put glitter on them. If, if you don't want to put glitter on her fingernails, that's okay. You don't have to. Or you could just leave, um, leave the sealer on there and they'd be nice shiny fingernails. Like nail polish, yep. You wouldn't have to put the glitter, but I'm going to do glitter. And I usually use like paper plate or a, um, this is styrofoam that works good. So I poured my little bit of glitter in my cap and now I'm going to sprinkle it on the one hand here. And then I'm going to dump it back in there. And you can give it a little blow and it'll come off the rest of her. So there she's got her little fingernails all dolled up. And now we'll come and do the other one. So wherever you put that gloss glitter, that's where the or the gloss sealer, um, that's where your glitter is gonna stick to it. And you don't have to use the purple, you could use the green or the silver, or you could just leave the gloss sealer on there too, whatever whatever you like. So we'll and you should have a ton of ton of glitter left. Try to make sure everyone's got enough. Again, I'm just gonna sprinkle that on the gloss and dump it back. Give it a little blow and now it's all gone. And now we'll put some of the gloss sealer on the kitty's collar. So you can paint these all different ways. This is just how I painted them. So we'll dump our glitter on the collar. And then we can dump it back on there. Give it a little blow and now she's got her cute little collar. So we'll let her sit and we'll do um, Frankie. I don't want to get purple on him. No, that's okay. I just got to sit him down. 
So now I'm going to go to the green glitter and do our frog. So again, I'm just going to brush my gloss. I put a little bit on the frog's toes. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to either. I just thought it would jazz them up a little bit. Hmm. Well, so it's fun seeing um, you guys' pictures. Thank you for s sending them as you paint them. Feel free to share them on our page and in the group too right away if you want. Oh, Cordy says his cheeks I should do. I did them on the other one, all right. We'll put some on his cheeks. And I'll dump a little bit in the cover again. And we'll just sprinkle it on his toes. And there's plenty in there, so don't worry about not having enough. I guess I got a little carried away there. Oh, and I didn't have my plate down, so we'll just... And there we got our nice glitter on our little frog and I think I'll even I seen one of the ladies put it on the little moles so I think we'll even put a little bit on the mole so there he's got a little bit on his mole looks like I need to put a little more gloss on there get a little bit more on there and you can use your fingers too so there he is. He's looking all dapper and cute. Put him right here. So now I think we're, well I think I'm going to put some green on her, on her mole too. I didn't do that before but one of the ladies did and I really like that. So we'll put a little bit of, a little on hers. Yeah. That was, just added a little, little more to it. And then um, you can save your glitter from when, if you're doing other projects, feel free to use it. That's what we sent it along for. Um, I should probably wipe my hands off here. But it's okay, I got it, Courtney. Thank you. So I just don't want to get too much glitter everywhere. So now we're going to do her little the stripe in her hair. And you can do whatever you'd like to do or not do. You can use the purple and the green. Um, I use the silver. So I'm just going to... Put, put the um, gloss sealer, just paint it on her little hair stripes here. And you just kind of want to brush it out so it's nice and smooth too. Because wherever you put it, that's where it's going to be. If it's glabby, will it be glabby? Um, yes, you, you do want to brush it out. If it's you kind of want it smooth because if you have a lot here and a little there, then you're going to have a lot of glitter here and a little glitter there. So you kind of want it kind of even. And I'm kind of going on the high part and letting the dark crevice area without the gloss on it. And this dries fairly quick, but not so quick that you can't. Uh, paint this whole area and get it. So now I did get in that little crease there and I don't like that. So I'm going to clean my brush out and see if I can actually get it out of there. And maybe I'll take a little paper towel and actually wipe it out. And then I'll just go back and touch my gloss up. So I didn't want the glitter like gobbing over there and looking like it's all out of out of place. Well, there we go. Come back and touch that up just a little bit because it, it does it dries kind of quick but not too quick. Okay, so now we'll go with our silver and we'll just drop it on there. And then you can turn it over, give a little blow, and there she's all gl glitzed up. All right. 
Okay, we'll put that aside. And now we have our, put some more towel down so we don't get her all full of glitter here. Um, I just have some E6000 glue and one of your packages um, said dew drops on it and we're going to use that to give her some earrings and some little bling on her shoes and I think we put one on the cat's collar too. If you have a tweezers that might help. These are kind of little. Hmm? No, it's okay. I don't know where they are. I'm just going to dump them out of there. And the glue that's on here probably is not enough. So the cap was broke on this guy, so I had to I taped it up. I don't know how well it worked. We'll see here if we can get it out. Oh, let's use this little guy here to get it out, I think. I'm just using a ball stylus to poke a hole in here because the um, cap was broke. And I'm actually just going to use that, or you could use a toothpick too. And I'm just going to grab a little bit and put it right on the top of her shoe there. And then I'm going to get one of these little blingies and put the flat part down and put the little blingy right at the tip of her shoe. And let's see if we can do that over here too. So all, all these little extra details like really add a lot of character to your pieces. So that's kind of why we included them. And they're, they're just fun. Fun to do and fun to find all the little different ideas. So there we got another little diamond on the shoe. Next we'll do her little earring. And this stuff likes to run out. So we'll just grab a little bit and put it on the ear. And you should have an extra one so if you drop, drop and lose one, you still have an extra one. I'm just going to get that on her ear. Hopefully. Wants to go the other way. So now she's got diamonds in her ears. And now we'll put one on the kitty's collar. What are we doing for time? Eight o'clock, she says. Very good. Okay, now we're going to see if we can land this one on the kitty's collar. And there we go, it's on there. That looks like the glue from the... But it came with is stuck to it, so we're going to peel that off because it's not looking very cute. Okay, let's try it again. Okay, and we're just going to press that in our glue. Wipe off our other glitter. These just, they dry fairly quickly. Well, so Courtney shows that um, this collar is another option. It just has dots on it. This was just the one that Clay Magic sent along with the mold order. I do like the black glitter on her dress. Mm -hmm. I think we put purple glitter on the front of there too, huh? You remember? Um, I think I will do that though. So say if you wanted um, a little more glitter, a little... Add a little more glitter. I think I want just a little more glitter on her today. Does that make your brush tip like yucky or oily? Um, yes, you want to wash your brush out really well with, with um, some soap. Um, so you don't have that residue. residue from the sealer in there. The gloss sealer. I'm just going to put a little purple right down the front there. So you can change these guys up any way you want. I just used that sealer. I don't remember if I did this on the sample or not. I think I did. I usually just put it on the plate so it 
don't get everywheres. In the cuff, Courtney says I should put some in the cuff. So this one has some in the cuff. That's kind of cute too. I don't know. She's got the flashy nails, okay. so I think that's probably enough for for me. I do like the black on the shoes, though. Yeah. But we got the diamonds instead, so. So that is our pieces for tonight. I thought tonight was our last night, but it's not our last night. We have next week yet to finish this box. So next week we will do our crows and our pumpkins. Um, you can base coat those black. And then we can spend time working on those next week. Um, if you're a subscriber, we're working on packaging up the boxes and getting them in the mail on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know I'm what else. To get tracking on Saturday night, but if they don't, so Monday morning. Um, then so we'll um, they'll be shipped on Saturday. We have a craft show on Sunday, so um, if Courtney doesn't get the tracking numbers out Saturday night. You probably won't get them until Monday morning or late Sunday night. Because we set up, we're going to set up at the craft show Saturday night after we drop the boxes off at the post office. And then we'll have to be there at 7 in the morning and it gets done at 4, I think. And then we have to pack up and get home. So it's a pretty long day. So we will, she'll try to get them out Saturday night. If she don't, look for them Monday morning. Um, let's see what else. My coming up. Oh, Cardi says my birthday's coming up, so that means something special is coming up. Yeah, She's already planning some kind birthday. of watch for the 15th on October 15th because something special is going to happen. Um, have your checkbooks ready or your debit cards. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> um, it'll be on the 15th for the 15th. Yeah. Um, it, it, it should be ship in your box. And it can ship it if you purchase. It'll be able to ship in your November box. Um, let's see what else. She she made up some kits of something, so we'll something you guys can probably use. We'll paint our pumpkins and scarecrows next week. You can base coat those black. The other ones will be in the mail, and we'll be able to start those the following week. And those will be a lot of fun. The scarecrows, everyone seems to like those. They're really cute. She's probably got some more videos to upload yet, um, and we'll probably be making some more, but not this weekend because it's kind of a hectic weekend with the craft show and getting the boxes out. And I just noticed we didn't touch up his, the green is on his hair, so you might want to touch that up. So I'm just going to grab, and it's okay that it's sealed. I'm just going to grab my um, black and my little zero... <laughs> um, dry brush and I'm just going to tip dry brush the tips of that green that's on that black I don't like that um, it, it does look okay though you could leave it if you if it doesn't bother you I guess I could have left it it looks okay but I'm gonna They're local in the business at Greenville. I'm just gonna touch that up where the green was on the hair so you can even after it's sealed you can go back and touch up a little bit and then you'd want to seal it again. And I'll probably try to seal it without, I'll put a, actually put a paper towel over it so I don't get my glitter all, um, so it's flat. I want to keep that shiny and I'll just spray this part where I touched it up. So that's how you can touch things up, just cover up what you don't want um, covered. In fact, I'll, I can do that right now quick. So we'll cover that up. So that's another little tip, cover up what you don't want sprayed because we don't want to get that matte sealer on our glitter to dull it. So now I can just touch up his little head where I um, touched up the paint. And then my glitter is still glossy. So that, actually that was a good boo-boo to make and now you guys could see how to patch something up. So there they are. Hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate everyone. I'm looking forward to working on more stuff, and getting more stuff online, more videos. A few invoices are still outstanding. Um, we have a few invoices still outstanding. We haven't paid. 
Either you would pay you, or let us know what's going on. Um, we need you to pay by midnight tomorrow night. Or if you need your invoices canceled, um, let us know that so we know where we're at with orders. Or if you need more time. Um, or if you need an extra day to pay or an extra week, let us know that and we can put it on hold just so we know what's up. Um, if you would like to subscribe or get this next box, you can message us and Courtney can send you an invoice for just this box too or add you as a subscriber. So that's about it, I think. I hope everyone has a great week. Thank you for joining us. Again, we really appreciate you guys. Thank you.